Yes, I'm teaching a Year 5 uh, Lower Ability Mathematics group and we will be learning how to find percentages of amounts and using that to answer multi-step word problems. So we'll be focusing on finding um, 5% and using our new method called a T-chart in order to do so where we find 100% and then manipulate that in order to find 5% and use that within our word problems. Uh, so my TA will be working with the uh, lower ability children within my class, um, so she'll be rotating around. So from our previous lesson yesterday, uh, she, uh, I picked up on mistakes and misconceptions that they have made, and she will be working with those. What percentage? I have my 30. What percentage do I need to find Beth? Five. five. Now, thinking back to our first question, how can we find our 5%? Poppy. Divide 10 by Fantastic. 2. Fantastic. We divide our 10 by 2 with my purple line. So what do I have to do to the other side, please, Sky? Divide it by 2. So you have to be careful. Your 10% amount is 12. Divide by 2. What is 12 divided by 2? 12 cut in half. Uh, Callum? 6. 6. 6. Is my question finished? What do I have to do now? So I have my 30 and my 5 separate. I want my 35. What do I have to do? Katie, tell me. So 30 add 5. So 30. So look at my amounts. 36 add. What's my 5% amount? How many stickers? Look at my amounts. 30%, 36. 5% is 6. So 36 add 6 is equal to... Maria, 36 add 6. Forty-two. Has my question finished there? No, what do I have to do, Poppy? Fantastic. You have got this. Add 46, which is equal to? Oh, 42. My Thank you very much, Mrs. Miskata. Hundred and sixty-two, and that's your final answer. Now your sheets on your table. You have a sheet which looks like this. Now I'm going to give you six minutes to answer the first question. But if you finish the first question, I'd like you to continue going, thinking about what we have learnt. So we have learnt to find our five percent with our halving and dividing by two, and then we've learnt in this last question thinking about how if we have our 30% or our 40 or our 50 to divide by 2 and we, we need to remember to add those together and then add it on to the end. Now I'm going to be working with this table and this table and then I will check on you guys in a second. You guys are fine. Mrs Miskwitter will be working with the middle table so work nice and hard for her please. If you are finding this really easy and I check your work and I'm happy there is a red sheet on my table ready for you to move on to. Any questions? If I add 30 and 6, I get 36. So I've added those two together. What do I have to do with these two? Because they're my amounts. That's how much money it costs. Add those together. If you add those together. 144. Is that my final answer? Think about how much the sofa cost before. So it's increased. So think about what the word increase means. Add, because it's cost more money for that sofa. It was cheap, and that was gone up. So add it on. Perfect.